what's up guys it's VK here so today's video today is the final video of the RSX the painting process still little bits of pieces that still gotta be completed uh, refinement and some of the cleaning cleanliness some refinement on some of the cleanliness uh, the wheel specs uh, you know little stuff like that you know we still gotta finish so I want to say the build is 95% done when it comes to the painting process the build can never end I, I want some seats I want some cover parts I want some type R center console type R panels engine wise we could get so much into it right so the car is not completely done but the painting process is done and uh, again shout out to my dad pop's been he's been putting in work guys um we started on July 4 so for everyone that's new to the channel this is part six there's five other parts of this so if you want to check those out before this just so it's not really a spoiler alert by the time that you guys are at this point of this video you pretty much pretty much saw the, the car already it's been fun you know first of all i'd like to say uh great bonding time with my dad um that's the first thing off the bat he's killing it like always um it's his passion you know he, he just he just loves painting cars and stuff like that there's so much I want to talk about, so many little details I want to talk about the car. And uh, you guys that have been watching this since day one, you guys may appreciate and understand some of these things more. When we got the car, the car wasn't, it wasn't destroyed, it wasn't beat up. It was, it was fine, you know, it was fine. It was, but it was like a six out of 10, right? And the intention of painting it and all of it is making it a 10 out of 10. I think at this stage right now, it's about nine out of 10 because there is still some spots that have ore overspray and stuff like that so but those are stuff that we can easily fix within time um and then once we give it a, a final polish a final ceramic coat i think it's it's gonna be 10 out of 10 right so this video it probably looks 10 out of 10 uh but just me and my dad seeing the entire car we we know what's wrong with it so uh, you know but end of the day i'm really happy how the car came out i'm, I'm really happy spending time with my dad and uh you know he's always wanted rsx i've always wanted rsx so we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him so shout out to sydney selling us a car june your dad um shout out to him thank you i uh, really appreciate it i know we were talking this past friday and um this uh coming up psi crew friday dinner i'll make sure to bring it out so you can check it out so enough talk enough appreciation i guess uh you know, I just want to say again, thank you guys, everyone that's been watching, supporting. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Ho hope you guys enjoyed some of that cinematic uh, editing I did in the beginning, the introduction of this video. First thing off the bat, if you guys recall, the car did come with gram lights. Made sure to put those back on. It also came with the Type R kit. And the Type R kit, now that the car is painted red, you can really tell the detail, right? So red, you can really see some of these details. Like now that the car is red, you can see the curvature. You can see some of these lumps right here, right? So that's the first thing off the bat. The second thing in the back that I want to talk about is the uh, this rub strips here. So I've been wanting to get these even for the S2K at one point, but just adding these rub strips here just really give it that like OEM look. So this is an eBay Type R lip kit, but as you can tell, the fitment looks pretty dead on because that rub strip really helps kind of fix some of those gaps between uh, some of the sections but if you're selling a type r lip kit or maybe even a mugen lip kit let me know like i'm kind of down i'd love to have the oem pieces of course if you guys recall so like little stuff like this we still gotta clean up all that white just like the car they were clear coated these are the oem tail lights nothing special they look real good now that they're glossed out it's amazing if you guys recall originally when they was white all of this here was all oversprayed. It wasn't really painted good. Um, you know, we finally did. So that's looking real good as well. Another section that I want to put a key key detail is all of this inside here, the trunk, the trunk area. If you guys recall, all of this was pretty dirty, pretty ugly looking, nasty. And you know, by taking off the trunk, we were really able to paint inside there. The car did come with this little gurney flap, uh, window flap, whatever you want to call it. We decided, I kind of told my dad like, hey, this will be a little different. Let's give it like a, give it like a hat look where, you know, you got a snap, snap back or something going backwards. So I'm painting this red. It really like kind of just shows that like bubble effect. It's one of, probably one of my favorite mods of the car right now. 
this in the wing right i just but i do love this piece right here looking at the sides so the sides there's nothing really special right just a little kit like we did before car already came with the ember lights if you guys recall there's a major damn damage here fix that if you guys want to check that out that's probably in the first or second video where we talked about that only thing i want to bring up about the sides is we did paint these you know they're like 30 35 bucks on ebay or something like that they're on the video the car looks pinkish hopefully it doesn't look like that once i edit it but the car is red um so these pieces here um they were like 30 35 bucks again ebay the fitment's pretty good right so it's pretty edged on here double-sided tape but it was weird because on both sides of this <laughs> it's, it's chopped off and my and my dad even brought it up to me he's like oh yeah i'm like I'm like i i even told my dad i'm like uh i don't think that's supposed to be like that he's like yeah it's on it's like that both sides so whatever reason he painted them and that's when it brought up to my attention but that both sides have this little defect here and i told him like uh i don't think it's supposed to be like that so this is something i really want to ask you guys leave a comment but what do you guys think about this in red like should it be black is it cool red i don't know leave a comment i i'm really curious what people feel about this i think it looks cool it looks different but at the same time because this side's black and that side's black. I feel like it should be black. I don't know. Leave a comment. What do you guys think? I think it should be black, but just to be different for a minute, I painted them red. Looking at the front now, can't get over it. This is, I got, I got nothing to say, but damn. Again, pops it real good job. We got it painted real good. No big issues. If you guys haven't watched those videos, really appreciate it if you do. But um, something that's different compared to all RSX is this piece is not OEM and these fog lights are not OEM. So what we actually did is we got some tension fog lights, slapped them on here, and they look pretty good to me. They look OEM, maybe not so OEM, but from a distance, they're, you know, I, I'm with it, you know. Um, the next piece, so this center piece here, look at this mesh. So just like the S2000, the S2000 got like a 20th anniversary uh, bumper conversion. This is still the OEM RSX bumper, but if you see here, instead of doing the OEM kind of look, we did like a honeycomb panel. And I, th I think it looks really good. Like it just, just gives it a really modern look. Maybe in some of that intro videos you guys were able to see, but to me this it looks good. And then the last thing I want to talk about from the front end is this piece here so i don't think people do enough justice but this piece and black bumper is one whole piece here this is actually part of the bumper but just having this black with this red and red here it just gives a real good contrast and the honda badge just pops hella like let me take a step back here so obviously the car is super glossy but it just it just looks so good it looks like the h is just floating taking a few steps back as you guys can see here maybe on a laptop or on a big tv you can notice here but the mesh it just looks amazing fog lights is just beaming at you especially at night they're gonna look real good and then that h is just it's just amazing right it just looks like it's floating i'm really digging it i hope you guys enjoyed this entire process all right, yeah, so there's a lot to cover. Engine bay, I, I didn't want to show yet. It's still pretty dirty. So I'll probably do another video when we cruise with the RSX. I'll give you guys a recap of how the engine looks with some of the pieces painted. Uh, again, we didn't take the engine out. Uh, we didn't take a lot of this stuff out. We painted what we could. It looks good. So on the next video, we'll kind of be talking about that and checking it out. Currently, it's three-day weekend. Super hot out here in SoCal. It's like 110, 120 degrees or something like that. This morning, 8 o'clock, I woke up. It was 85 already, so <laughs> it's pretty hot. So uh, I think we're going to cut this video here. Going to head home, go chill on the AC, and just hang out. So thank you again, guys. Hope you guys have been enjoying this video. Again, shout out to my dad. Shout out to everyone that's been kind of watching this and really supporting. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. If you guys reached the end of the video, 90% of people did it. And if you did, really appreciate it. Once we reach 2,500 subscribers, we'll be doing a giveaway. So make sure to subscribe and uh, keep up to par and check out my Instagram if you like. Kind of post more updated stuff on there. So, yeah, guys. So make sure to subscribe. Peace, guys.